On today's video, we'll be taking a tour through Southgate Homes Addison 2 floor plan on a 61-foot lot located in Windsong Ranch. This stunning home features four bedrooms, four and a half baths, a three-car garage, and spans 3,574 square feet. This residence offers a spacious layout, including a study and media room downstairs and a game room upstairs. It's perfect for entertaining. This home also has high ceilings within the entry and living room in a luxurious owner suite with a soaking tub and oversized walk-in shower. This video will help highlight the key features and appeal of the Addison 2 floor plan by Southgate Homes. Uh, so that makes sense. And this home tour today is going to be over an $894,000 house. This is the Addison 2 plan by Southgate Homes. This is on the corner, kind of on like a small little cul-de-sac, almost like a half cul-de-sac. There is a cemetery over on the right side, so maybe that's why this one is still kind of sitting. Now from the front of the house, it is painted white all over, but it does have those black accents. It has this black siding also going up on the left side of the home. Floodlights going all around couple flower bedding areas over on the left and the right side. Seems like these homes do come with one tree in the yard and also across the sidewalk as well. So you have two bigger trees on there. The front porch does have this stone accent going up and around, but everything else is painted in white or black. This one is going to be two stories. It's gonna have a few bedrooms down below, study, also some things upstairs, but we'll walk through this south gate today, kind of show you guys what they have to offer over here at Winsong Ranch. This is on a 61 foot lot over here, so there's gonna be a little bit more space between the hallways. The backyard, not gonna be the biggest. This first front room is gonna be carpet. The rest of the flooring in here is a kind of a lighter brown gray throughout the first floor, but there are gonna be some other rooms with carpet within them. This first bedroom does have carpet, also has this box out window as well, and those two windows do open up. Around the whole room on the ceiling, you're just gonna have one light installed, no other lights up there. Within the bathroom, gonna feel pretty standard, goes back into carpet within this closet space. Now this closet space does have a few closet rods within it, but not too many. No other built outs within this one. The shower for this first bedroom is a drop down shower. Now I, I like that. At least one shower downstairs or in one of the bedrooms has a drop in shower and not a tub. They didn't stack this all the way up to the ceiling and they kept everything else pretty standard painted white or in gray in here. The gray also matches down with these quartz countertops and then everything else in hardware is in a chrome color. From the opposite side of the bedroom is going to be the staircase that goes up. Now this is a pretty aesthetic looking area, I would say. You got plenty of windows bringing in natural light. This home is facing out towards the north, so adding all these windows at the front of the house will bring in a lot of light. There is like a plant shelf up there, but I just call that a dust collector. Also, the other thing that's bringing in a lot of light is this door here that has glass to it. So even though you don't want people looking in, you can get it a little bit frosted out keeps the privacy, but also still allows you to bring in some natural light. This door leads us into the three car garage. And from this three car garage, there is gonna be like a little cubby underneath the staircase. And then it goes a little bit further back. And then there is one tankless water heater on that backside. Small mud room has four hooks to it. Couple cubbies down below and up above or the other way. I think I said that backwards, but there's also a shelf there too. Before we go upstairs, gonna walk a little bit further down into the house. There is a office space in here with two windows. And for this one, unlike the bedroom, it does have some other lights to it, but you have this one light here that you could later on install the fan. Across from the office is going to be the media room. So the media room's at the front of the house, which I don't know how smart it is to put the office right across from the media room, but that's just how they have this floor plan set up. These two doors don't have the glass on them, makes it a little bit more private. It does have surround sound speakers pre-wired in. This would be your TV wall here. You put it, be able to put up some couches along this wall and it's got plenty of outlets going around that whole room. The ceiling heights stay pretty high in the entryway. They do come down like nine foot within this small hallway, but then it kind of opens back up to this living room, great room area. Got this dining room back here. Now the dining room has a full boxed out shelf ledge to it where you could have any of this be seating. Really big kitchen table could go here and then they have this chandelier coming down. It's gonna drop right above where you'd put in your table. Before we get to the kitchen, let me just jump out here real quick to show you guys the backyard. Tight spaces 
on these 61 foot lots over here for Southgate homes. Now some of the homes are gonna be corner lots, they're gonna be a little bit bigger, but this is gonna be the size of your backyard, about 125 depth to 130 depth on these backyards. For this backside, they did kind of match the front of the house where they painted something. So continuing with that theme, like the front of the home that had that siding that was painted black, they also have it back here. And then they also painted the ceiling on the patio, three windows up along that backside where the primary bedroom is. And we'll get to that here in a little bit as well. For this kitchen, gonna have a few upgrades to it. You're gonna have, you know, double stacked oven. Let me see if I can turn on some lights. Where are these lights? Here we go. I don't know where the pendant lights are. Maybe on this side. Either way, let me get to it. So this is like a fake waterfall. I mean, it is a waterfall island, but it isn't a waterfall island because you can't really put any chairs up on this side. But I usually see those waterfall islands going to the full edge. But this is kind of the same effect, just going to be a little bit cheaper, but maybe give you that same look to it. Also upgraded kitchen aid. Now this one has a little bit a step further. Not only does it have the six gas burners, but then it also has this area to kind of cook whatever you want on here. If you want to go straight hibachi on it, you could. Instead of having two sliding drawers, they actually have four on this, which I kind of like that better because it'll keep things more organized. This whole countertop space runs the length of the wall down to those windows. No hardware on any of these cabinets. Looks very white in here. That'd be kind of hard to find dust. And also these floors are gonna hide a lot of dust as well with them. But what they picked out in here is very cold. So if you're going for a warmer look, this one's a little bit more on the cold side. So that exterior matches this interior. The backsplash is just gonna have this herringbone pattern with it. It's with like greenish, bluish colors. I don't see how that really matches anything else going on with the house, but. Island space, really good size, few outlets on the left and the right side. They did a white porcelain sink. And then back here is where the pantry is. So let me show you this. So you can walk into it. It has some depth in it, five shelves. Not the smallest pantry, not the biggest one, but pretty standard. Vent is also hidden in behind some cabinetry. For the great room area, it has that cathedral ceiling up above, which just makes it a little bit more grand in here. And then you can see where the game room loft area peeks over where you can actually see to the downstairs. For the fireplace, it does bump out a bit off this wall, leads it into a hallway into your primary bedroom. But for this one, they just took this tiling up to the mantle. Don't feel like you have to take the tiling all the way up. Okay, that could be overkill and be over budget. I think this look here where you just have a nice boxed out mantle painted in a good color. I don't know about gray. I kind of like a darker wood or something. It makes it feel a little bit more homey, but then putting tiling up to that top of the mantle. I think that's a nice finished look. Don't feel like you have to take the tiling all the way up to the ceiling. It is going to make your ceilings look a little bit taller, but uh, it is also going to save you some money when it comes to the design center. TV outlet stuff is kind of plugged up along this wall. So I guess you could have it over the fireplace, but you could also have it over in this section too. Walking to the back of the home, this is where the primary bedroom is gonna be. These ceilings are vaulted up. They do feel really high within them. It's more of a boxy feel in here rather than like a rectangle. So I think there is good space, but also I really like how the ceiling heights go even further. And then they also bring up some more windows too, just to bring in some more of that natural light. A lot of sunlight's gonna come in here. That back patio is also gonna be cooking. And for the primary bathroom, it is set up with a good amount of space between the vanities, even though the vanities are together. They have this linen closet that's on top of this counter, so it kind of makes a split and separation between you and your partner. There are a few cabinets down below. It's all centered around this shower, so for this one, you do have the floating tub, and then on both sides of the shower, you can actually walk into it. So usually you only see it from like one side with most of these builders, but this is a little bit more of an upgraded one. You got a few niches, shelves, and then they stack this all the way up and have two frosted out windows on both sides. Toilet is over on this back side, and it takes you right into the closet. Now this closet space isn't gonna be very tall. Maybe you can put one more off season rack above there. I think that is possible, but few shelves, and then you got this one shelving unit going down. It leads you straight into the utility room after that. And for this utility closet, all it's really gonna have is just some tiling and also these floating cabinets with a few shelves in them. Outside of the utility closet is just gonna be a linen closet and that's the first floor. We'll go upstairs real quick and check out that. And then that'll be the Addison 2 floor plan over here. Looking out from this way, you kind of get an elevated view over you and your neighbors in your street. Going up the stairs, they continue into hardwood, 
and then it gets into carpet within this loft game room area. This door here is just attic access above the garage, which is probably where uh, some storage is. Yeah, that's just storage. Okay. Game room splits a little bit off to this corner. Now this could be another office space here. You do have the office down below, but this could be like a little nook or hangout area along with this game room side. You can look over both ends. So you can see down into the entryway, all that going on down there. And then I wish this wall was more opened up and they might actually be able to do that, but that's what I would do. I would open up these walls. Unless they have to do it for like engineering standards. I have no clue, but I'd have this full wall opened up and make this whole room feel a lot more open rather than just like one little sliver right there. Next room we'll walk into is gonna be above the kitchen. This one is gonna have the closet at the front of the room. Bedroom here, and then it's gonna have its own bathroom with a drop-in shower. And then at the front of the house, it's gonna be a similar setup, but this one is going to have the bathroom on the outside. So this one here on the backside, it's gonna come with its own suite. This one here is going to be shared out with the rest of entertaining people or guests being up here are going to use this bathroom. This one's pretty standard. It does have the tub within it. Pretty simple what's picked out there. And then the front bedroom is also going to have that same type of boxed out window with it. And then also a few shelving units within the closet. And then I might have mentioned this earlier, but it's completely carpet up here. So you do get that hardwood flooring down below. But then up here goes into carpet. Whether or not you want to change that later, you could. I wish they would have done that color hardwood flooring through the rest of the house rather than the gray. Because there's a lot of gray going on in this house, but it's kind of what the trend is here and there. And that's going to do it for today's video over here at Southgate Homes touring the Addison 2 plan. If you guys have any other questions about Southgate Homes or building in Winsong Ranch, please send me a text or give me a call. I have all my information down below on how to contact me. Also comment down below any other areas you guys want me to tour. Thank you for checking out today's video. Other than that, peace out y'all and take it easy as always. Thanks for checking out my channel and watching that video. I got more videos floating around here. If you're in the market to buy or sell real estate in the DFW area, contact me, Daniel, at the Home Expert team. I will be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, besides that, uh, bye.